aspects. Today, I am going to talk about nervous system. So, what is nervous system? There are many two types of controlling system in our body. One is the rapid controlling system, which is our nervous system. And the second one is slow controlling system, which is our endocrine system. Now, our endocrine system consists of glands, the secretions called hormones. And the nervous system consists of our sense organs, nerves, etc. Now coming back to the topic, we were discussing about nervous system. So the first word which comes in our mind about nervous system is our neuron. Let's discuss what is neuron. So what is neuron? It is the basic structural and functional unit of the nervous system. This is the structure of a neuron. Now, our neuron consists of several parts, some of which we will discuss here in brief. Now, in neuron, there are three parts. First one is Second one is dendron, and the third is axon. From the dendron, fibers arise, which are called dendrites. Now we will discuss about it one by one. Now, what is cyto? This is our cytome. It is also called the cell body or pericarion. It is the sole part of our neuron. Our next is dendron. The finger-like projections, this, they arise from the cell body or cytome. They, they are called dendrons. And from these dendrons, fibers arise, tiny fibers arise, which are called dendrites. But what is the function of dendrites? It carries impulses from the outside to the cell body or cytome. This is our cell body. The dendrites carry impulses from the outside to the cell body. Now, talking about our next is axon. So what is axon? This is called axon. Now, it is the untranched process which takes place which takes out from the cytone, our cell body. It is an unbranched process. Our axon can be myelinated or non myelinated We will discuss about it. Now, coming to the other part, important part, which is called synapse. What is synapse? Synapse is a process. It is formed between the dendrites of the succeeding neuron and the axon terminus. These are called axon terminals. Which the axon we are in are called axon terminals. Synapse is the place between the axon terminus of the preceding neuron and the dendrites of the succeeding neurons. These are called dendrites. Now, coming to the next part of the topic. It is our nerves. Now, what are nerves? The axon, this is called axon, the axon of our neuron from the nerves. The nerves are fibers, a bundle of fibers. These are a bundle of fibers made up of connective tissue together form a nerve. So, Nerves are of three types. Of three types. Do you know what? First is according to the presence of myelin 
means if the nerve has myelin sheath, then it is called myelinated nerve. And if it does not have a myelin sheath, then it is called non myelinated nerve. On the other hand, uh, it is also divided into second category, which is according to function. Now, according to function, there are three types of nerves. First is sensory nerves, motor nerves, and mixed nerves. So, what are sensory nerves? These nerves carry the impulses from the receptive to our central nervous system. For example, our optic nerves, our eyes, related to our eyes. These are nerves of our eyes called optic nerves. Second one is motor nerves. These nerves carry the impulses from our central nervous system to our muscles, glands, etc. For example, nerves supply our optic nerves. The nerves which supply our optic nerves. And the third and last one is our mixed nerves. It consists of both the mixed motor nerves and the sensory nerves, together known as mixed nerves. For example, the spinal nerves. Okay. And the last part is, according to origin, nerves are also divided into a category, which is cranial nerves and the spinal nerves. Cranial nerves are those nerves which arise from our brain. From our brain, from our brain, that are called cranial nerves. There are twelve pair pair of cranial nerves in our human body. And the second is our spinal nerves. A spinal nerves are the nerves which are carried from the spinal cord. There are thirty-one pairs of spinal nerves in our human body. Also, I wanted to tell you that our central nervous system consists of brain and spinal cord. So, rest of the things we will do in next class. Thanks for watching.